This next guy's fantastic, man. A great friend of the show, related to one of the hosts. Give it up for J-Rock, everybody. J-Rock! What's up, fuckers? How you doing tonight? I said, what's up, fuckers? How you doing tonight? Well, before I get started, I see a lot of ladies sitting here in the audience. And ladies, I just want to say I'm sorry. Uh, this is only comedy, and some of the things you might hear tonight might offend you, but just remember that it is only comedy. It's not half as bad what your kids are downloading off the internet right now while the babysitter smoking weed getting fucked on your favorite comforter. So <laughs> while you're here, sit back and enjoy the show, and when you get home, watch the wet spot. Ladies and gentlemen, we got some celebrities in the building. Give it up for Spot from Duck Dynasty. There he is. <laughs> He's got a family of Mexicans living in his fucking beer. Look at him. And speaking of Mexicans, we got Steve Cavino. Hey, Cavino. Hey, Cavino. Have you ever have you ever realized that you could put the word Mexican in front of any word and it sounds dirty? Give me a word. Give me a word. Mexican shoe. It sounds like a fucking gangbang. Shout out going out to the black guys in the York. Black guys, where you at? Black guys. Listen, I understand. White women, especially big white women, approach sucking dick like they're at a buffet. Congratulations. And look, we got two black ladies over here. Black ladies, how you doing tonight? Can I ask you guys a question? Would you ever have sex with a white guy? <laughs> oh shit. Listen. So you would, you would have sex with a white You know why she would have sex with a white guy? That's because she knows her and I together can make a president. <laughs> you can't have the light skin without the white skin. <laughs> Alright, so so while I'm up here, you know, I've been I was on my way to the city today and I've really been thinking about <laughs> I know, right? So I've really been thinking about it, and I, I really wanted to get to the bottom of what do men, what do women really look for in a man? What type of qualities? So what type of qualities do you look for in a man? Let me, I'm going to ask you, Sarah. Humor. Humor. What do you look for? Honesty. You don't really want honesty. She said honesty. She doesn't want honesty. You, want, you really want honesty? You don't want honesty. Humor's better. You want honesty. All right, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I wanted to fuck your sister, but then you walked into the bar. <laughs> yeah, so th there's your honesty for you. That's, that's it right there. Also, we got anybody, anybody got kids? Anybody got kids right here? Round of applause, everybody got kids. Fuck that, I'm wearing a condom right now. Fuck. I just learned how to use the washing machine last week. Fuck. Yeah, so nice round of applause for me. I just moved out of my mom's basement. I'm now on the second floor. I'm now on the second floor. <laughs> and you know, you don't realize until you have to start paying for your own electricity how fucking expensive it is. You know what I mean? I have mastered the art of pissing in the dark. You know what really sucks, though, is taking a shit after you did that and sitting on your own piss. All right, let's get real for a second. Have you ever looked at you? You've been so broke that you just look at your bills and you laugh. Like, you don't even know why you opened the bill. You weren't going to pay it anyway, you know? You just want to see what your broke ass would have paid if your broke ass had some money, right? And then you start getting the, the calls from the collectors. Uh, Mr. Sorge, we just want to inform you that you are 90 days past due on your recent payment. Uh, yeah, I knew, I knew 90 days ago I wasn't going to pay this shit. If anything... You guys are late on this whole thing. And then I hang up the phone. Because it's Capital One, not the fucking IRS. What are they going to do? Send the Vikings from the commercial to my house? What's in your wallet? Uh, absolutely nothing. I got a condom and a Blockbuster card, and they're both expired. <laughs> so... But so you know, now that I'm broke, see, not only, to, in order to take out a good-looking woman, you got to be a real slick dude, see? See, I'll ask you out, but I won't take you out. 
I'll call you about 25 minutes before I'm supposed to pick you up, and I'll say, ah, I just got to work. I can't make it. Ah, j Rock, I'm on my way. Wait, all right, wait, I got a better idea. This is what we're going to do. Why don't you come around to my house? I'll cook you dinner. We'll watch Dancing with the Stone. You know, bitches love that shit. <laughs> and we'll just have a good time. And no, nah, nah, I don't know. It's the first day coming to your house. I don't think it's a good idea. Ah, don't, don't worry. I'm not going to let you stay over. All right, right. All right, so what are you going to do? You going to come? You going to come? Yeah, I'm going to come. All right, you got a pen? Yeah, I got a pen. All right, I'm going to need you to stop at the grocery store, pick up a few things for me. <laughs> I need some chicken, <laughs> string beans, lettuce, tomato, <laughs> toilet paper, unless you can hold it. Me, I shit when I get to work in the morning. <laughs> but not only do you have to be a slick dude, you got to be creative. I'm dating this really hot chick. I got no money. We're at the library. She looks at me and she said, J-Rock, I've never had so much fun doing absolutely nothing with somebody. And I said, baby, when you're with me, absolutely nothing is what we'll do. Nothing and a little bit of fucking. And then I turn to her and I say, so, so what do you look for in a man? She goes, well, I, honestly, I want somebody that I could build a relationship with, somebody that I can come home to, and, and oh, I want somebody that'll help me go back to college. Go back to college? What, so, what, do you need me to pick you up from class or something? What the fuck? She goes, no, 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 I need you to help me pay for college. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. If I'm helping you, who the fuck's helping me? And then I realized we need to find this motherfucker together. Just the three of us. Building castles in the sky, just the three of us, two fingers inside. <laughs> where are my dude bros at tonight? Where are my dude bros? Yeah, where my, what do you call the women? What do you call nussies? Where, where are my nussies at tonight? All right, listen. There's an epidemic going on in the world. I'm going to end with this. There's an epidemic going on in the world, and, and there's two things I really hate. Bad breath and nasty pussy. You got these people walking around with this bad breath. I'm not talking about bad breath. I'm talking it's like ancient oranges coming out of their mouth. I was in the AC last week sitting at a poker table. I was sitting next to this woman. Her breath smelled like horse hiccups. <laughs> I mean, there's people were just, people just walking around with bad breath. I met this guy last week. His breath smelled like coffee and cuss words. He was like, yo, hey. I'm like, yo, fuck you too. You need to get an operation, brush your tongue or something. And guys, let me ask you a question. You ever date a girl with a nasty pussy? Like, how do they not know? Let me ask you this. How do they not know? L ladies, you know, how do they not know? Like, when they get in the shower, like, the steam from the water, you know, pushes it up into, listen, I'm no scientist, but it happens to me when I fart in the shower. So don't tell me. Don't tell me that you can't smell your pussy, ladies. I got a story for you. So I'm going into work one day. I go to work. I get to work. I work in a nightclub. I go in the nightclub. They serve ahi tuna. So I go. I'm eating the ahi tuna, right? <laughs> I'm eating the ahi tuna. I finish up my food, and out of the corner of my eye, I swear to God, Steve, there is 11 on a scale from 1 to 10. So I go over to her. I go over to her, and she's sitting on the chair like this, right? She's sitting on the chair. With her. So I go in between her legs. I'm standing up. I'm now I'm kicking game. I'm telling you, yo, where, where are you from? What's your sign? I got a big dick, you know? <laughs> and, and, and like a few minutes into the conversation, I'm talking to her, and I'm like, oh, my God, my breath stinks like fucking ahi tuna. <laughs> so... I had to get out of it. Good thing I'm at work, right? If I was just hanging out, it wouldn't be. All right, baby, I gotta, go, I gotta go to work. I'll be back in a little bit. I run over my boy, Mark. Mark, you see that girl over there? I'm fucking talking to her, and my breath stinks like ahi tuna. Give me some gum. All right, so I chew the gum. I'm 10 minutes. I let it marinate, right? I go back and talk to this girl. She's sitting in the same position. And Rich, it was at that point I realized. It wasn't the ahi tuna. This bitch's pussy smelled like the South Street Seaport on a 95 degree day in 100% humidity, midgets dancing in it, and fell asleep in her pussy. That, I, I mean, just saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you with this. I'm gonna leave you with this one. I'm gonna leave you with this. We got any single mothers in the building? Any single mothers? 
You know, I got to hand hats off to single mothers in the building. You know, single mothers do more before 9 o'clock than I don't know what. You know what I do before 9 o'clock? Take a piss. You know what they do? They get up. They get, get the kids ready. Get their lunch ready. Drive the kids to school. Get behind their desk. 9, 8.55. Me, I'm taking a piss. Hats off to the single mothers. Hats off. Any single mothers? No? No? So, I, I respect you, but I would not date you. That's... I fucked the shit out of you a few times. You know what's going to happen because Indy's going to get serious. I want you to come over and make pancakes and we can, we can go to the zoo. Bitch, I've been wearing condoms for 15 years so I wouldn't have to make pancakes and go to the fucking zoo. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my time. Thanks for having me here tonight. J-Rock, give it up for J-Rock.